What's going on, everybody? It's your boy just chilling in my bower box. And you know what time it is. I need to eat, regardless of this COVID-19. So we're going to make a hot plate meal. But without a hot plate. That's right. We are not only slow rolling through life. We're going to be slow cooking. Let's go! A couple of days back, I was able to pick up a three pound bag of gold Idaho potatoes. I cut them up into like square pieces. It looks like a lot, but I eat a lot, let's be honest. Honesty, pass it on. Prepped for some slow cooking. Five and a half pound chicken for around $9. And that's what's gonna go in the slow cooker. See, I got my hot plate on the bottom and I was able to take a slow cooker from my house and I got it all connected and I put the chicken in and I'm gonna turn it on low for about two hours and then I'm gonna add my potatoes, broccoli and everything else. Let's get to slow cooking. Might not be a fun video, but we're doing it. So as you guys can see, I'm doing this video shirtless because I don't care. I'm in my bower box, self-quarantining and making some good, semi-healthy food. It's been in there cooking a little bit. I gotta add the flavors, the salt, the pepper, and some garlic. All right, let's add some garlic. Let's also add some salt. You always need salt. Rub that bad boy into the chicken into the chicken, into the chicken. And then we add pepper. And it's time to cut to the pepper song. That's right. I like pepper, how about you? I like pepper, the song changes every week. Pepper, pepper is good for us. Pepper, pepper is made for us. Pepper, pepper, spicy or us. Pepper. It's the famous Michael Ray Bauer pepper song. If you want to write your own version and add a beat to it, let's do it. Maybe next time I'll try a rap. Pepper. Right, I finished putting a ton of pepper. And that is a lot of pepper. It's turning black with pepper. This is gonna be a black pepper garlic chicken. Let's go. After about an hour on low, you're cooking, you put the top on. And now, you put it on high because we're gonna add the potatoes and the broccoli for another hour and a half. So while the chicken is heating up, getting ready for the potatoes and the broccoli, let's just have a serious conversation. I haven't been able to make a video just talking about my life and what's going on as I wanted to present that to you guys. So I'm gonna do so now. Uh, it's been about two months since I've moved into this place. We are two month official. Um, I am doing well. My mental positive in terms of creation is definitely better being away from, you know, many toxic people throughout my life. And it's given me a new perspective. Uh, but that being said, I do deal with anxiety and fears. And being in a box, I haven't really went out that much. Now, especially with the COVID-19 self-quarantine, it makes it even worse for me. And I have a lot of fears as well. So I've been going through it mentally, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. I'm very afraid for the future. So it kind of all came back. So I was supposed to get more positive and have less fears. And then, you know, the first month and a half, I struggled trying to find a routine, you know, trying to figure out, is this my new life? How is it going to work? Um, how am I going to go back to my career and all that other stuff? And then now with the COVID-19, it just exasperated, I think that's the word, exasperated all of it even more. So the last couple of days, it's been a struggle, you know, even more to live. But I'm very grateful to even be in a bower box, thanks to you guys and your support. And a lot of people were worried about me because my videos... You know, they're saying I'm going crazy, making, you know, toilet tacos. 
Yeah, I made a mistake. I learned from that mistake. I even knew it was funny. That's why I left it in the video. And then now I'm going to get grief for having my shirt off in a video, you know. But I'm just being real, guys, and I hope you understand that. And on a good news front, I did book a job in a television show about a week ago. I had an audition. I booked a job on a major television show. And then all of a sudden, a couple days later, they canceled production. So that really hurt me. That was going to help me financially. But at the end of the day, I still felt by booking that job that Hollywood still wanted me. And there may still be a need for my humor, my character, or whatever in Hollywood. And um, it was proud to see that these were major casting directors, a major NBC Universal television show. I don't want to name it because, I, I don't know, I just feel like I might be disrespecting them. Or if they come back to production, I don't want to now not be hired by mentioning anything publicly. Because maybe they were using me as a cameo or a celebrity thing or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But I got a job and it made me feel like Hollywood still wants me and will accept me. And it just made me feel really, really proud. And um, I wanted to share the news and the video of me getting the job. When I got the phone call, I actually cried. Um, and I knew it was about that when they called, so I turned on the camera. But I can't show it to you guys now because I'm crying again after losing the job. But hopefully it'll come back into production and I'll be able to film it again. But that being said, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm doing okay. Just like you guys are struggling as well with everything. A lot of you guys are losing your jobs and money and everything with this crisis. Um, and I just want to let you know you're not alone. We love you. We thank you. And if there's anything I can do to support, send kind words your way or help out, let me do so. I love you guys. You guys are honestly my friends, not only my fans. Many of you guys have really lifted up my life and my spirit these past months. And I just wanted to share the truth with you guys on what's going on. 45 years of age, I'm really alone. And I do feel lonely, but it's okay. Now it's time to put in the vegetables. Uh, they do need a lot of time to, to slow cook as well. But I believe the reason I put the chicken in first and I let it go for about an hour is because I didn't want to put the potatoes and all that underneath where all the juices from the chicken can fall on top of it. Again, I don't know much about cooking, but I have always heard about salmonella. So you continuously wash your hands. But I don't even know if salmonella is a problem with COVID-19 running around. But hey, it's time to put the potatoes in on top of the chicken. So let's go do it. That's right. Little potato fishes. I love potatoes. If you think I like pepper, you should see me with potatoes. I should have a potato song. I'm going to start pouring the potatoes in there one by one, little by little. Now, this may come as a surprise to many, but I do something uniquely weird with cooking every time I cook. Well, I just put the potatoes on top of the chicken, but the garlic and the pepper and the salt is all on top of the chicken underneath the potatoes. So how are the potatoes going to get some flavor? Well, you know what? Sounds a little weird. Got a little bit of leftover oyster sauce. I'm going to pour this on top of the potatoes. So that way it'll slow cook and the flavors will be absorbed into the potatoes with a little bit of creamy oyster sauce. Again, I'm not saying it's quality cooking, but it is cooking with Bauer. Guys, guess what I forgot? Carriage. That's right. I had carriage. Oh, carrots are divine. You get a dozen for a dime. It's magic. They fry a song begins, they roast and I hear violins, it's magic. So just add the carrots, 
People think, why didn't you cut them up? It'll fit better. I don't care. I like full carriage. It will still cook. Okay, that's a problem. Let's figure out this problem together. Will it even close? Maybe that's why you need to cut it up. I got it closed. Yeah, good job. Ooh, it's kind of healthy. Kind of. Better than the toilet tacos. There's the broccoli floretch that I'm going to add. Hopefully there's room. Healthy, 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 healthy. Yeah, I've been waiting for a while. So now that the chicken, the potatoes, and the carrots that I found were added, I'm gonna try to find room to add the block. We're gonna let it cook about another hour, and I think everything should be done. Healthy cooking. I think one of the florets just fell in there. Let's see if we find room for it. It's like my bower box. Everywhere you go, you gotta find the room to go. Squeeze them in there. I'm trying to find room. There's not really any room. Oh, gee, it's tough, but there's not room enough for broccoli or Brussels sprouts. I tried to fit all the broccoli in there with the carrots and everything. Oh, boy, that looks really weird and phallic. <laughs> Let's see if we can close the top. Yeah, squish it. Squish it. Once it cooks a little bit, you know, thing, hopefully too much air doesn't leak from these little spots. But hey, it's called slow cooking. Got it on low for another hour. But we have to do the famous taste test. Let me pick up broccoli. And you gotta love movie magic, as now my shirt is back off. Go figure. Here it is, the taste test. There's nothing on it. Should I put anything on it or should I just eat a half cooked broccoli? This is what you guys want. Oh, did a piece fall? I think a piece fell on the ground. I'll eat that later. Toilet broccoli. Just kidding. Just kidding. You guys want to see fat people eat good vegetables like this. So here we go. I think it needs about 20% more cooking, but the very fresh tasting broccoli. I would love to put cheese on it, dip it in a fondue, because when you do it, it's fun, the fondue cheese. But you look, let me be honest with you, just to have any food right now with this coronavirus, I feel damn blessed. So I love every moment of eating this amazing food. If even a broccoli without salt or flavor. Thank you. So after about four hours of total slow cooking. It appears to be done, um, and I'm gonna make a plate. I think the chicken looks pretty good, as hopefully you guys can see on screen. So I'm about to pull some out. I'm gonna make a plate, and hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. You can see it, how good it is, how good it looks. <gasps> Try to make a thumbnail. I don't know. But there it is, guys. So I'm gonna taste a test. Chicken is very, very moist. There is a lot of water, but I call it broth, left in the pot. And I'm gonna have food for two or three days. So this is a fantastic meal. Do you see all that broth? A lot of 
lot of food left over, but I'm going to have a lot of food for the next three or four days. Hashtag blessed. Got bone. Yeah, a little bone. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't the best of specials, but it is what it is. And I'm eating a very blessed meal of some pretty healthy potatoes, chicken, broccoli, and carrots during this crisis. I hope you guys enjoyed it, had a good time. And now I go pig out without you guys watching, even though I've been half naked this whole video. This is me. This is the Bauer Box. And this is Hot Plate. Slow cooker. Chicory. Is that the title, chicken? Yeah, I guess so. All right, let me do a taste test of potato. I love potato. All right, time to go watch TV. See what's available. Hashtag Netflix for life.